entire area that we're walking in today wasn't a part of the city of, Port of Portland until about 50 years after the city was founded. And right about where we are now is almost exactly the middle of um, Albina, which was originally pronounced Albina, actually, which was platted at the beginning in the 1870s and actually was an independent city uh, in 1887. And then uh, it was finally consolidated with Portland in, in uh, 1891. And we're also kind of on the edge of two really distinct areas known as Lower Albina, down the hill, and Upper Albina. And Lower Albina was really oriented to industry. That's where the rail yards, came, railroad came in. In fact, Albina was really a company town, you know, a railroad town. Um, and um, there was you know, the river down there, warehousing, that sort of stuff. And then the area up here developed um, as relatively modest uh, working class and, and lower middle class housing. Um, and for the uh, most of the 19th century, it was largely an immigrant neighborhood with uh, Irish and Polish and Russian and Scandinavian folks, um, many of whom worked down in the yards um, down the hill. Um, there were also, uh, up, up through the 19th, most of the 19th century, Portland's African American community was relatively small and relatively dispersed. In fact, it was kind of more concentrated, if, ever, if anything, on the west side. Um, but beginning slowly, particularly um, in the teens and 20s, uh, the African-American community slowly started migrating its sort of center of community to this area, um, coinciding with sort of the institutionalization of segregation um, in, by the city realtors and the, and the powers that be. And Albina was one of the few areas in the city where they could re relatively easily obtain housing. Um, the African-American community really started to grow after World War II and after the Vanport flood uh, displaced about 5,000 African American uh, uh, people, and again, this is one of the few areas where they, they could obtain housing easily. And in the in the 40s and 50s, Albina really became sort of the physical, social, and cultural center for the African American community in Portland. Um, William, uh, Vancouver and Williams and um, Fourth Avenue, which became Union, which became MLK. Were to the main north-south sort of corridors. And Russell was uh, the east-west uh, uh, corridor to kind of link upper and, and lower Albina. Um, there was a ferry at the bottom. Yeah, there was a ferry at the bottom. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, Williams uh, was really a, a cultural and social uh, part of the community. There were supper clubs and jazz clubs and restaurants and groceries. Um, and in the 40s and 50s, that's where it was happening, kind of from the north of, of uh, Russell here all the way down to the, the Coliseum area, um, it was kind of the southern anchor.